gospel of Jesus Christ. I stand before you today with a testimony, and I, am, I still don't understand, and I'm trying to understand and recollect, and I, I listened that the apostle prophesied to me on a few minutes ago, and, and I hope this happens for maybe within five months, because I only have five more months to live. Amen. It's all right. I'm not afraid. That's what the doctor said. And, and I'm not afraid. Amen. But, but let me tell you what happened. I was on, and I have a notarized letter from the doctor, and I've been going around saying eight minutes, and I was looking at it today. I was intending on bringing it to show you it was 16 minutes. But what had happened was I was on the operating table, and I'm, a, I'm not an old man. I'm not young neither, but I, I have a, a pacemaker fibrillator. My kidneys, they used to say, fell in. Uh, pancreas, just, uh, I look healthy, but I'm real sick. But what had happened was, I was on the operating table and my heart stopped for 16 minutes. I've had a stroke, let me say that too. But as my heart stopped, I didn't know it stopped, but I was taken to a place and an angel had me by the hand. And as the angel was, I was in a place and my daughter, she told me afterwards, she was like, Dad, you was very selfish because I didn't want to come back to this world. I did not want to come back here. It felt real good where I was. And this angel had my hand. And as the angel had my hand, I felt real good. It felt, I, I didn't have no pain, all my illness, all them pokes, it hurts being poked on all the time. And, and yeah, so as I was, I was dead, dead. Because the day, they say after so many minutes, your, once your brain don't get no oxygen and whatever, even if your heart still beat your brain dead, so you're still dead. And as this angel had my hand, and I don't understand this to this day, and I've been talking to Brother Scott just every, trying to every day, what, what, what did this do, what did I do? And the an angel, we was walking and, and I seen this light and then the angel, we stopped, and I wanted to keep going. And the angel said, no, you can't go yet. You have to go back. But when you go back, you have to follow Reverend Moon's teaching. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean? What, what, is, what is he teaching? What is, I don't understand. I don't understand. So he said, you can't come back. Now, the doctor was just about to pronounce me dead. And I coughed. I coughed, and when the angel told me to follow the teaching, I, I'm, I'm, when I come back, I'm telling my, because my, my whole family was around. You know, you're dead, you're going to die, you're going to die. So uh, my mom and people, they was coming in from out of town uh, and the whole thing, and I begin to tell them, I got to follow this teaching. What is this teaching? What is, what is this man teaching? You know, I, I, I done preached in front of hundreds of people. You know, I done, I've been preaching, teaching. And, and I, what, what am I doing wrong? And, and, and then I, I begin to start trying to look up things and what he was teaching. And then I said, well, he's teaching about love. And, and I've been asking Brother Scott every, almost every day, as much as I can. And I've been going by his house, trying to learn all I can. Because his angel said, I cannot get into heaven until I follow this teaching. So I'm thinking, like, no way do I want to be a part of this. No, no. And then I said, no, no, no. And then I, Angel, you got to do this in order to get to heaven. And I don't know how y'all feel, but knowing you only got a few more months to live, you want to go to heaven. I sure don't want to go to hell. Anyway, I sure don't want to go to hell. And, and, and I said, I, I got to follow this teaching, so I want to learn as much as I can. I want to do what, what Reverend Father Moon say do. I don't understand it. To this day, but I need to do this in order to get to heaven. And I told my church, and I've been teaching my kids everything I learned. I've been teaching my children so I can leave something behind. Amen. Amen. So that is my testimony. And y'all pray for me. Amen. Pray for me that God will continue to do and bless me. And if, if God says otherwise, amen. But uh, so far, they ain't saying otherwise. 